fuck? Yo, introduction. Hello. Since I uh, struggled five times to do an introduction, I'm not even gonna bother doing one. See, explaining why I'm not getting, going to do an introduction seems better than doing one, as it produces an introduction itself. So, finally, again, we have a double nuke with every gun series, which uh, <laughs> no one's ever going for anymore. Which I really don't mind, because it, it better when it comes natural. It was actually two that could have went up today, but uh, I'm gonna keep it to one, just because I feel Saturday and Sunday, I was actually, I think last week, saying that I wouldn't upload on Saturday and Sunday, but I promised a few people uploads. So, since they were some pretty beast gameplays, and this is his first one to the channel, I think. I mean, he's featured in a few. This is Have Some. He's a nigger. No, what? Well, uh, sorry. I'm sorry I said the N-word. No, I'm kidding. He's not black. Uh, he might be, though. No, I'm kidding again. So, this is the M27 double nuclear with every gun. I don't even remember. We have a Cat 41. That hasn't gone up in a while. Physical's doing that. He already did it. I'm going to download it. I've been having a little problems downloading, but I'll figure it out. And I'll get it up for you tomorrow. That one's a really solid gameplay. I like, uh, well, I'm not taking away from the thunder of this one. This one's still pretty decent. This is the M27. I did cut it a little bit uh, in because I feel like I don't have the intelligence to commentate this entire thing. Because I've been commentating long-ass commentaries for a long time. What? What does that mean? No, I'm kidding. So this is, uh, as I explained, double nuke with every weapon. I don't know what episode it's on. See, I'm better not. I'm better off not saying the episode because they usually get it wrong and they look like a retard. So whatever episode this is, you know, keep track. And this is on hijack. We've seen a lot of hijack, but it's such a pretty little map. If you ask me, the walls on this map are made out of a uh, Walmart styrofoam. It just doesn't even work. You can shoot through any wall. If you have a heavy machine gun with what's it called uh fmj on you can just tear through stuff well we will hold on to that thought here's a word from our sponsors if you enjoy that product, it's definitely recommended that you get it. It uh, helps you from nasal g ingestion and dinosaur shit construction. So let's see. Well, I was going to actually uh, break down the M27 a little bit. You know, not like Xbox Ahoy or Drifter or something. Because they do it better than anyone else can. And, uh, yep, Xbox Ahoy's voice is orgasmic or organic. Ah, I don't know the name to it. So the M27 is one of the lowest powered assault rifles in the game. It is really the equivalent of the M4A1 from the previous CODs. It's got low damage, high fire rate, and very little recoil. The lowest recoil in the game if you ask me. Ask me. Ha ha. Ha I have those awkward moments. And it's definitely not a gun you want to be using competitively. It's definitely the best assault rifle as far as range goes. Uh, next to the SMR. Because they both have not... Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. It carries a 30 round clip. It's very recommended to have fast mags and stock. Stock is recommended on all assault rifles. I really have to stop saying that. Quick draw is another thing that's good because this will, uh, it's best to get the first shot on your opponent and the faster you can uh, pull up your gun, the faster and more high of a chance you're going to kill them, which makes it even sound better, which I don't even know what that means. If you guys haven't seen the last video or, uh, haven't understood what it was it was a domination hardcore double nuke many people have uh, have a hard time grasping the fact that that was even possible and i didn't even finish my entire conversation that was on that video so going back to the nuclears and how to get a quad nuke this is more about the quad nuke because it's the most revered thing and no one has gotten it yet come close but no cigar on that so what i've been thinking is you know multi-team hardpoint is probably the second best game mode for getting gameplays after ground war and the third best would be, of course, like Dom or, uh, yeah, Dom or a six-man hardpoint, which you really don't see too much, actually. So what I was thinking is, you know, everyone's a multi-team getting gameplays nowadays, or at least most people. Not the people who are run solo, you know, like those people who have uh, a million people running support in Ground War, not even doing anything, just giving them a... Uh, well, I was going to say Ballistic Vest, but that's a different game. Sorry. And the quad nuke, I was thinking, you know, it's... Uh, even if it were done in hardcore, not hardcore, hard headquarters or demolition or whatever, I'd still be impressed, even though the game modes are 15, 20 minutes. Capture flag's harder, even though it's a 20 minute game mode, because of the respawn delay from everything. Uh, for people die, you know, there's a respawn delay, like the halo delay, 
which I think they got rid of the respawn delay in uh, Halo 4, which I, I, did, I wasn't a fan of that game. Halo 3 was great. Let's not talk about Halo on a COD video because I know a lot of people call it Galo. Gay. <laughs> so the quad nuke, I think we've been doing it wrong. I think the wrong game mode, the wrong game modes, are, they're not ground war and they're not multi-team hardpoint. In fact, they could actually be hardcore game modes. Not team day and probably not team uh, kill confirm. I'm thinking domination because from last video, he pulled off a double nuke at nearly half the time. You know, he almost did it. And he wasn't even going uh, totally rush happy either. Well, he was rushing a lot, but he wasn't going completely in about it. So you could imagine that if you were a true, if you had the whole, like, 100 people I know going on that game mode, I'm sure they could have gotten a double nuke in the first round. First off, you can drop people instantly, which makes it the bullshit count as long as you have a V setup, probably a lot less. So what I'm saying is multi uh, hardcore dom might actually be an easier game mode, as long as your team is not going for the objective and the game lasts the entire time I think a quad nuke is totally possible you know it's 120 kills non-lethal which I'm not arguing is impossible because he got 70 kills in that game if I'm uh, if I'm correct within uh what was it I think each round of domination is five minutes so we did it in about six minutes got 73 kills non-lethal in that amount of time so with that in mind he could definitely pull off the quad nuke I'm looking forward to him because he seems to play those game modes now if you're uh, listening try and go for the triple in that game mode and play with a team that you can talk to and tell them not to hold the objective the entire time but then sometimes you get the team who doesn't even play the objective I'm sure a lot of people watching this are like that no offense but you guys really need to play the objective a little bit more I know you probably say no oh, you don't play the objective in your uh, videos but we're winning that's the objective so as long as you're winning onto that different argument I think I'm going to end it right here. Oh, another thing I've been planning is uh, with the video or sponsor message. I'm kidding, it's not a sponsor message. It's half some. We've been doing it something in a, a secret project, me and him and uh, JC Mayer. So uh, you, we will see that. I'm going to call it uh, Call of Duty Daycare because it's really funny once you see it. I'm laughing my ass off. Live, it's even better, you know, being in the game. I, I hold my mic out. You'll see it. The thing will be edited completely. And there will be a 2500 sub special, which I've been working on. Not really working on, just recording clips too. Now, uh, sorry if you just got a hemorrhage. Bye.